Is the concept of the auteur still relevant to analysis of contemporary cinema? To understand the concept of the auteur, you need to understand the origin of its birth. The 1950s brought about a new wave of French filmmakers who referred to the auteur, which translates to author, as a director who infused their films with their distinctive personal vision through the salient manipulation of film technique. This singles out the work of one individual artist, crediting them for their signature stamp from one film to the next. To name a few, Quentin Tarantino, Stanley Kubrick and Tim Burton can all be classified as authors due to their recognisable body of work through the conventions of mise-en-scene, repetitive structures and in some cases, casting. Referring back to the question at stake, in order to analyse the relevance of authorism in contemporary cinema, I needed to consider a notable director who could progress my argument. Greta Gerwig instantly came to my mind. I mean, writing and directing is what I love, and and I hope that um, I get to uh, to keep making films because um, I think I have a lot more in me. Gerwig, who already had experience in front of the camera, released her solo directorial debut titled Lady Bird in 2018, which was nominated for five Oscars, including Best Director. She has since written and directed the sixth adaption of Louisa May Alcott's Little Women, which was released at the end of 2019. Now, despite only two directorial titles under her belt, Gerwig has certainly made herself recognisable as a woman fighting to earn the recognition she deserves for the work she creates in a male-dominated industry. And women's stories seem to somehow never really hit that, um, or, or do, but it's an uphill battle, and I don't understand it. Gerwig's acknowledgement as an author was stimulated through her transcendent indie style portrayed in both her films, as well as her themes of feminism and women striving to succeed their ambitions. I want you to be the very best version of yourself that you can be. Alongside this, her choice of casting certainly secured her author title, having Sasha Ronan and Timothy Chalamet starring as two of the main characters in her films. However, Autorism can undermine the creation of film as an entity, as it isn't just a product of an individual, but the product of a collaborative. With the complexity of filmmaking, it is not down to a single author, work isn't generated by a single individual, and therefore film shouldn't be a personal achievement of an individual artist, but a collective celebration. In fact, Karen Hollinger's The Woman Author states that prominent stars can have an influence, and so the concept of autorism cannot be singled out solely for the director. Actors who frequently star in similar roles can be seen as authors, and so, linking to Greta Gerwig, Ronan and Chalamet could also hold this title. I think actors are very good at communicating um, intention, and sometimes if, if you don't know, that can be hard to come across. The complexity of the auteur title doesn't stop there. Of course, Gerwig's success has and continues to be a win for the women and feminists of the world, but the title itself can be seen in opposing views. The first presents the auteur in a positive light where 21st century cinema exposes the injustice and discrimination of marginalised groups contrasting to the privileged nature when it comes to male directors. The heart of it was about um, what it means to, to have authorship and ownership. And so with the rise of female directors, the work they create can award them with the author title. Authorship is always a way of looking at films. This infers that the concept of autorism is a method of perceiving the film. For example, comparing the film to the director is equivalent to comparing the art to the artist. In support of this, an analysis of Michael Foucault's lecture on what is an author allowed me to understand the importance of directorial designation when it comes down to authorship, as the director's name encloses a meaning and therefore presents an expectation which the title of author aids them to live up to. On the other hand, an option which many feminist critics favour is the abolishment of the concept as a whole. From a feminist perspective, an author can be seen as a product of systematic, cultural and industrial inequality that keeps women and minorities subject to marginalisation. A post-structuralist perspective also presents the death of the author as it restricts the work of women what with the lack of female recognition within the film industry since the concept of the author was brought about. This issue with authorship presents the hegemonistic ideologies which the male author is a corporate tool for. I realized pretty young that uh, being quite ambitious was considered unattractive in a girl. The birth of the reader must be at the cost of the death of the author, meaning the truest reflection from a film can only be achieved by the viewer dissociating the author from the film and therefore abolishing the auteur. Further supporting this idea, Roland Barthes states that to give a text an author is to impose a limit on that text. 
To sum up my argument, in my personal opinion, the concept of the author is no longer relevant in contemporary cinema as it is an outdated restricting title which has favoured men's work over women simply due to their gender. Creatively, it is restricting as it puts the director in a box of certain films they can make. Alongside this, an author couldn't possibly only be a director. Thelma Schoonmaker's editorial style could deem her this title, as could Catherine Hepburn due to the role she's performed in. Overall, the author does more harm than good, and Gerwig herself is hopeful for a time where we won't need to count every woman's accomplishment, and for a time where we no longer need to qualify director with female. And cut.